how many Christians are in the world at the moment? Oh my goodness. Would there be a billion Christians? Will yeah, the billion, yeah, yeah, there will is. the billion soul harvest double the Christians there's, on the earth? There's there's like a billion, let's call it, you know, Protestant, charismatic, great commission, and there's another billion Catholics. Oh, so and that's another thing God's doing. Amazing things with the Catholic Renewal. Church. Renewal. Yeah. Like for instance, here's a story. So we're in we're in Brazil. And uh, I'll just finish off with this story, and and the and this. So we're in Brazil doing a, a outreach, you know, in the slums and that. And one of the men that we work with, his name is Matteo Calisi. He was in charge of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, like, you know, twenty million, ten million, whatever he was working with in the world. And he came to the meetings, and then he invited Stacy to go down to Argentina. This is two thousand seven, and uh, it was an ecumenical charismatic, Catholic, Baptist, everybody was there. Come on. <clears throat> and it's all it was on unity, John 17. Interesting, 2017, John 17. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. That so, may be one as you and so, I one. Um, Come on. So Stacy's in the meeting, and this uh, uh, the archbishop or the cardinal of Buenos Aires gets up to speak. His name is Jorge Bergoglio. And he opens his Bible at Philippians 2 and he just begins to read. And suddenly she goes into like a, a, an ecstatic vision. The room fills with golden light. The roof, as it were, just comes off the building in her vision. Yep. And the stars and the Lord speaks to her and she hears it with her ears. These are not mere words on a page this man. This is his whole life. She begins to weep under the presence of God. And he's reading Philippians 2. You know, the likeness of Jesus and all all this. So she's weeping. When he finishes, she turns to her friend from Italy and says, would you get, can can he pray for me? Because she's thinking like, this man is so humble. If if only he could just lay hands on me. If if humility can come by impartation, there's got to be something there. So he says, sure. And he takes Stacy and her translator over to the cardinal, but he doesn't speak very good English. Mm. So he says, Cardinal Bergoglio, this woman would like to pray for you. He got it totally mixed up. Oh my God. This is the, this is the, this is the biggest story of mistaken prophecy you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> <clears throat> I think God might've been involved in it, huh? <laughs> so she, she puts her hand on his shoulder, because he's a tall man, and, uh, <clears throat> She begins to tremble, and she sa- she says she just repeats what she saw and heard, mm. and then she and then suddenly the Lord sp- says more, and she says this, and because you have humbled yourself, I will highly exalt you. You will be the next pope. Whoa! This is sp- the, 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 this this is the summer of 07. and he opens his eyes, and looks like this, and she goes like this because she's blonde. <laughs> and and everybody looks at each other and no one knows what to do and she just puts her head back down and goes amen <laughs> and so um, uh. they kind of just it's an awkward moment the next day she goes why did I say that anyway the rest of the story Pope Benedict is the first Pope to resign in 600 years yes okay that was 2013 suddenly there's a vacancy in the papacy Right? Yeah. So they go to have the first runoff, and this guy is not even in the Cardinal Buenos Aires. He's not even in the list. Yeah. And they, there's, you know, I think it's the black smoke goes up. There's no, there's no decision. The next day they go to another big thing, and the white smoke comes up, and sure enough, the ne- the next pope, and who is it? The Cardinal Buenos Aires, Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio, and he becomes Pope Francis. Wow. And that's 2013, six six, six years later. Yeah, I believe, and and he 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 is lighting it up. He is calling for prophecy to be in the Catholic Church, and so this year, 2017, is going to be the greatest, biggest Mm. uh, Pentecost in the world, and they want people of all, everybody, and and you see, the right now. In Europe, if you're going to reach Europe, you have to reach the Catholics. Absolutely. If you're going well, to reach South America, you have to reach the Catholics. Yes, and, and, and the cathedrals Mexico. are opening up 
to the prayer movement. Wow. Jean-Luc, wow. Jean-Luc, he had two priests at his feet, and they came in tears to his meetings. And they said, would you bless us? And he just and he stiffened because he was raised, you know, persecuted, mm. and by the Catholics. And he stiffened these, and he didn't want to do it. And God says, "Who are you to withhold my blessing?" Wow. And he and and so he prayed for them and blessed them. And they looked at him with tears, and they said, "We have the people, and we have the buildings. You have the power. Come in and do what you do, and we'll open our buildings." There is something happening in the world right now. The oh Catholics are coming Jesus. to salvation. Hindus Come are coming to salvation. Muslims. Wow. Yes. Muslims. 6. 65 point, uh, 69.5 million refugees worldwide displaced. That's not even talking about the internal displacement. And it's like... People are out of their element, and they're and they're and they're being touched, and they're being shown visions and dreams, and and people are Christians are reaching out. They're planting churches all through the Muslim world now. Mosul. I was just with the pastors planting churches in Mosul, Iraq. Wow. 